Hello everyone, this is Jaktar Shergil, an insurance broker in Ontario. Today I'm going to give some good tips. A lot of people ask me how they can pass exam for a registered insurance broker in Ontario. Is there any notes they can get or is there any quick way to pass the exam? So I have a suggestion. I told a lot of people over the phone when they called me that uh, in order to be successful, uh, read the course material thoroughly uh, and understand it and see how it fits in real life and uh, how you can help people if similar situations comes in real life. And once you grasp the knowledge and you understand it and you are confident that you will get 75% marks, then give the exam and uh, you will be passed the exam at 75% marks or more but uh, don't look for shortcuts where you think that you can uh, quickly pass the exam without uh, grasping the depth knowledge of the course material and the second question people call me is regarding how much they can make what commission structure they will get once they pass the exam and uh, that's different from brokerage to brokerage but once you pass the exam and then you can uh, talk to that brokerage or you can call us we also hire uh, insurance brokers so everybody have different structure but uh, main thing is what you can deliver famous author and motivational speaker and best salesman zig ziglar said that when you help enough people what they want you will get everything what you want so you got to help the people first and see how you can solve people's problems how you can help them with their insurance needs for auto home or commercial and what is your system of reaching to people are you going to do telephone calling or you're going to do some social media network or you're going to meet people in person knocking on the doors or going to community events or many different ways it's, there is no one fixed solution or fixed formula how to contact people or how to reach people is everybody have their own system that's why every insurance broker or every salesman is unique so you got to figure out that but one thing I can tell you which doesn't work is that when people come to me or they tell me that they have a big family circle or they have a lot of friends who want them to become insurance broker and they will help them that hardly happens you have to stop build your uh, market away from your family or friends yes they will get insurance too at one point when you are successful or if they really need your service or actually the rates comes uh, very cheaper or they are happy about it but main thing is to build a system because you cannot run a business and depending on your family members or friends you have to have a continuous stream of people looking for insurance either through your advertisements or through your personal contacts or through your good service to people who refer other people. Sometimes one good customer refer 20 other clients. Sometimes even 100 clients or sometimes even one client or sometimes no clients or sometimes if you don't help them well they also take away 10 more clients away from you uh, because they are not happy with your service. So you got to be genuinely helping people with smile, with the care in the mind so people can see that when you're talking when you're talking to them that you care about their issues you are listening to them and uh, you are giving good service so once that shows through your actions through your skills and through your uh, sense of caring and uh, people give you business sometimes people don't care about the price they care about the service they, they get and the price can be up and down so you can never be successful selling always on cheap price you have to sell on good service good benefits show them benefits 
lot of people tell me even my close friends who knows me they said jaktar you put too much sugar into your insurance coat so give a little bit less and give them cheaper coat once they agree then show them the options but sometime i put the options in the coat up front because i know that if i don't put it everybody want cheap coat but once the claim comes they might be not eligible for those extra benefits but those optional coverages which are responsibility of broker to tell or have to sell those coverages one way or other smartly or by telling them properly so that when claim comes they are not disappointed it's good for the client and uh, it's and at the end it's good for you as the insurance broker so my advice study your material for exam and and learn it well and pass the exam become insurance broker and then uh, uh, build uh, some kind of uh, your uh, referral system or your system of getting continuous leads from the community from broader community because if you are working in ontario you can write clients from anywhere in ontario is because of this internet world you don't have to be specifically aligned to one community or one town or one city like my clients are from windsor to ottawa and from toronto to thunderway so all over ontario clients are here and there so i'll say best of luck it's really good business and uh, it's a uh, you are a full time an insurance broker self employed is not a, a salaried job it's a commission job more you uh, help people more money you will make and uh, that's my message and if you have any more question give me call at 416 8310215 or email me at jagtar at ableinsurance.ca j a g t a r at able a b l e insurance dot c a so able insurance is one word so give me call and uh, if you have any reference people looking for insurance or you are client looking for auto insurance home insurance or commercial trucking insurance or business insurance or even life insurance or critical illness or r e s p i do all kind of insurance and our team leader as well looking to hire new brokers uh, and train them well into the uh, marketplace so please share this video with other people and subscribe to my channel and i will bring another video at another time until then i'll say goodbye and be safe and god bless you thank you